So we started making stuff and we're like, we need to find some same predicament. We need to find yeah. some rappers or some singers, somebody, right? So we started auditioning random singers and rappers and they were all whack. <laughs> they just all stuck and they're all like, like didn't have the drive or didn't have the look or didn't have the vocals. Like they're all missing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So him and I made a song together called, um, called Pain and Love. Mm. It was me. I was saying something in English, right? And then he was saying something in, uh, I think, Urdu, which is... Right. Urdu is, it's the Pakistani language, right? It's one, yeah, one of... So he was rapping in Urdu, and I was... Or he was not really rapping. He was more like singing, but it was... Mm. Had a rap flow to it. And we made this dope-ass song that... It's never been released, but it was... It was called Pain and Love. I still have it on one of my hard drives, probably. You ever going to let it go or what? I'll put it out. I just got to go it. to hard drive. <laughs> Can't find a floppy it, disk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a cool song. And I'm like, you know, the, I really like this balance of English and Urdu, right? Bro, right. we liked it too. Like on every book you were on when we heard. Like, because you were on the skates. You were like the Matrix type of like. Because yeah. you, every song was kind of like you would paint a picture with it. That was, and yes. it was a storytelling. Exactly. And and you would come in and out of the album. You, yeah. You were on the hooks, on the skits. Oh. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So that was, I, so that was, yeah. Again, that goes back to like my whole creative thing. Like I would create these movies in my head. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't want to just make a song. I want to paint a picture. I want when the listener listens to this i want them to be envisioning okay like you know these guys are doing this at this moment yeah like that, that one song you feel like you're at the airport you know what i'm talking about yeah that was uh the fast life exactly one in miami see i didn't even have to say anything and uh oh <laughs> puts you in the airplane right feeling right away yeah, yeah. and um <laughs> so we st so you know uh, we're, we're stuck in this predicament where we're like we don't have any artists so I guess we got to be the artist, you know, and then we got his brother rock. So mm -hmm. it was, it was myself. It was Roger, right. Which I, I call him raw mm -hmm. and it was his brother rock. And we started making music and then we're like, so Roger and myself, we wanted to be producers. That was our dream. Like we looked up to guys like, um, I'm trying to think if Timberland was out yet. I think he was, but we looked up to guys like hey, yeah, Tim, was Timbo out. and, you know. Missy and Timbo were out for sure. Uh, of course, Dre and like those guys. Yeah. We wanted to be like that. And we wanted to have our own label. And we looked up to, um, what's his name, Master P. Right. He was, no Limit. This was like back then uh, when No Limit was known as the biggest independent label out there, right? Yes. Yeah. We wanted to be these guys. And um, so since we couldn't find any artists, we found rock, which was his brother. And we're like, and we're like okay, he's like, but I can't rap. And then uh, <laughs> and like, we're you're like, you're about to be. <laughs> I always wondered. I was like, yo, why is this whole picture on the album? Yeah, because like, we're it, like, you know what? We're <laughs> like, don't worry about it, man. Uh, I'm like, so I asked Roger, I said, what language is like more, what's the most popular language like in um, South Asian like South Asian music, right? Mm -hmm. He said, him and rock were like, oh, it's Punjabi. Like the Punjabi music kind of goes hard and like everybody likes the Punjabi music. So I said, do you know how to speak Punjabi? And he's like, well, it's pretty similar to my language. You know, the words are pronounced different, but I could I could do it. So I'm like, okay, let's write some songs for, for rock to rap. Let's try yeah. rap. Because when I heard the language, I'm like, this language is beautiful. Yeah, it's got a certain cadence that fits perfectly over hip hop beats. Yeah, like not all languages sound good on hip hop. That's a fact. Like to me, um, what's the worst sounding language on hip hop? I would say I haven't heard them all, but like French sounds kind of weird on hip hop to me. Yeah, yeah. I might <laughs> catch a lot. Of, I probably catch a lot of heat for that, but if, <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I mean, hip hop hip hop is an American uh, art form, right? So yeah. it's in English, but it's in American English. American, so even yeah. like, even when in England rappers, they'd be kind of like, I don't know. 
Yeah, Uncle, yeah. There's something on the wall. Yeah. I put my beans on my on my toast. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't want to hear crap. I mean, pop I mean, my bottles of beer. If, oh. if you're good enough, yeah. you, it doesn't matter what language you speak. If you're good enough, Facts. you slide that beat and you can, like, if you know how to spit, it doesn't matter what language. But Punjabi is like the way it sounds is like it just fits with hip hop with the yeah beat. it's smooth as hell and also it's a very like metaphorical language you're it's not like like when you talk about a certain subject you're using like metaphors it's very poetic mm-hmm. right it's so when when i started to understand that i'm like this is perfect like so i so i, I we were he was writing stuff for his brother to perform and, and like we're doing take after take after take like oh I'm, I'm like um okay try saying it this way try saying it that way uh try this is at your apartment in oakland this was all at my apartment in oakland okay yeah. I, I, by this time i, I, I lived, remember that setup yeah i lived in oakland and i was at an apartment there and we we had the vocal booth in my closet and we had all the hell yeah running under the <laughs> door you know all the fire <laughs> And um, for real, and we just could not get a good take from. Yeah. And so, so I'm like, I said to Roger, I'm like, Ra, can you go in there and rap the verse, right, as a scratch vocal, so that mm-hmm. Rock can rap over it, and he can just follow what you're doing, right? So yeah, he goes in there, and, he raps, and it's like he's on beat and he's pretty good, and then rock does it on top and i'm like bro in my mind i'm like damn Ra sounds better his mm-hmm. vocals sound better but i knew he didn't want to be a rapper he we had this discussion he told me he's like i want to be a producer we wanted to be this like producer duo right which i think by that time we had chosen to call it the outfit instead of eastern conference so you picked your name long term and you have all Somebody else was called the outfit, wasn't it? Uh, the there was locksmith. There was another crew in Oakland called the Outfit, and they were it was there was some black guys. They were American rappers, right? right? We were coming up with this weird random thing, which was Punjabi rap, which didn't really, I mean, pretty much didn't exist. At there, I think there were some guys before us, but it really like no one had really heard of it. Yeah, just the was the name the Punjabi MC. Yeah, but that guy was—he wasn't really an MC. He was just yeah. a he had a few bars, yeah, a, a few. But I mean, yeah. he wasn't doing what we were doing, and so we would run into these other guys called the Outfit, and we were the Outfit. <laughs> but we kept it, Is it like the Spider-Man meme. Well, <laughs> it was kind of like, yeah, it wasn't. Well, there was no weird friction because we told them we're like, yeah, we do this kind of rap, and they're like, well, we do this kind of rap. And we're like, okay, right. well, you don't really step on each other's toes, so go ahead, call yourself yeah. the outfit, you know? It's like, good luck, see you later. <laughs> yeah. So it's funny, but you got a different type of outfit on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we um, we basically, you know, that's a, that's, and then so I I talk, I sat down with Ra, and I'm like, bro, um, I'm like, I don't think, I, I don't know if uh, Rock can carry the can can be the lead of our of our group oh okay i'm skipping ahead of myself so we needed a we we decided all right we're going to be a group it's going to be shah mm-hmm. roth and rock right. which is you see our pictures on the inside which is that yeah right Three. there yeah ah, rock, rock and we said we needed a a name for the mm-hmm. um, yeah that, that was the group right there we're like gotcha. we need a name for the group and so I started looking, by this time we're using Google, I'm Googling names, and I find um, Bohemia. I find Bohemian, and the definition of Bohemian was somebody who lives kind of an alternative, not alternative, but just a, a lifestyle that's different from like the the norm, like outside yep. the norm. And I said, I think that's very fitting for us because we're definitely doing something that's not normal, right? Right. Got a half Japanese, half Russian dude who's from the Bay. You got a Pakistani dude and his brother, and we're making Punjabi rap music. Like, we're <laughs> all ourselves Bohemia. It's an anomaly. Yeah, so we called ourselves Bohemia. It was a group. 
And, um, and then so we made, we recorded our first album, which was called Vich, Vich Pare Sunday, which means in the foreign land, right? Yeah. And we just, we just started knocking out tracks. And instead of rock being the lead, it was, uh, it was Ra being the lead vocalist and then me doing all the English hooks. Mm. So we sort of like over time through trial and error for, formulated this method of where like our songs would be English hooks and um, Punjabi uh, vocal, Punjabi verses. The production was very Dr. Dre, like a, you know, with the theme, yeah, skits. So we wanted that because back then it wasn't like where you just drop a single. Right. And like someone downloads it on iTunes or whatever. It wasn't like that. It was like no, you had to have a whole LP. Album. Yeah. And the album had like from start to finish was like a movie, like a whole Yeah, story. like you put a whole story to it. Yeah. yeah. And, that was, and that was sort of my plan. It's like, I'm like, I want this to be, I want us to tell this story about Bitch Varde Sunday, about being in a foreign land. Right. You know, all Sounds the, like the immigrant story a little bit. The immigrant story, but make it a little more street, like try to make it more street. Gotcha. And so we, um, so we put that together, and you know, I produce, Rob produced some of the songs, and then I produce a lot of the songs, and then um, I basically, like, he would go in the booth, and then he would rap, and I'd be like, okay, that sounds cool, but you know, you have a like a good voice, so let's try making it a little bit more melodic, or let's try to, mm. you know. I didn't the, the, the coaching reason, them right coaching them into like uh kind of the quality we're looking for the final product yeah so I'm like because I'm putting my I'm I'm trying to be Dr. Dre at this time so I'm like mm -hmm. that zone I'm like dude this got to be perfect it's yeah. gotta be. and like he would say something and the crazy thing is I don't understand what he's saying because I don't speak the language so I'm only hearing sounds yeah so when he says like zindagi or something right mm-hmm I know what that means. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's life, right? Yeah. So he says Zindagi. Yeah. But I don't know what the fuck that means at that time. Yeah. So I just hear a sound. So I'm like, try saying it this way. And I would tell him, right. and like, understand the language. You're like, that sounds weird. But if you don't understand the language, you're like, okay, I'll try saying it that way. But the reason why that worked is because I didn't understand. So I was, my mind was open. I'm not stuck in yeah. this. You didn't have anything that said, that's not how it said. Exactly. <laughs> I was being bohemian. I was outside of the norm. Love it. So he, um, so we just by accident almost like created this very unique sound on top of being creating sort of like this Punjabi rap that had never really been out there big in the public. And then we...